Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're going to make an update on both the adenium plant and my hibiscus plants. So this is the adenium. Some of you guys have requested an update on this guy. If you missed my latest video on, um, on the adenium, you can check it right here in an info card. What we did then was to repot him and also to prune him. I had a little accident and sadly the tip was damaged. However, it was pretty long. So cutting it made this plant look actually much better. And here he is today. All of the side growths have developed really, really nice. I really like how bushy it became ever since then. And also the trunk is looking quite nice. Now I'm not sure if it thickened up. The reason why we potted so high was to get a thicker trunk or actually it's codex. I should start using the terms, right? So. I'm not sure if it thickened up, but I will put an image right here next to it from the video in which we potted it. So let's see if it's thickened up. Let's see if we have any um, changes. I'm not sure. I will have to watch that video. So with this guy, I discovered something. So direct full sun is really not okay for this guy. The leaves are not doing all that great. They tend to go pretty red and overall they fall, they yellow, they don't do so great. So right now I'm giving him dappled light. He's right behind this little fence. So he does get sunlight, but it's pretty dappled. And sometimes some leaves get shade, some leaves get sun. Depends how the sun moves, but he's doing really great like this. Also, I've discovered that he needs a little bit more water than what I read. It's supposed to be very drought tolerant and it is but it seems to do better if I don't keep it very dry actually. When the medium dries, I'm just gonna let it one or two more days and then give it a very good water, a proper soak if you will. I just water it until water comes uh, through the pot and then I just let the water there because it evaporates so fast in this heat. And he's doing okay. As you can see, the leaves are pretty lush green. I do fertilize as well. I'm just using an all-purpose fertilizer so I don't go overboard with anything. But he's looking quite spectacular. I'm really impressed. I'm not sure if it's gonna bloom anymore this year, but that's okay. It had quite a nice show. So yeah, this has been the Adenium, and uh, you guys who saw it in videos and thought it was a bonsai, it's not, but it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Anyway, it will grow pretty big. I think I'm gonna try to turn it in a sort of a shrub rather than just um, springly long branches. I do like this compact appearance of it. Alrighty, let's look at the hibiscus. I've been trying so hard to find a day where all of them are in bloom, but I didn't find one. However, they are doing quite well. So a few leaves at the bottom shed, that's okay, that's pretty normal. Everything otherwise looks okay apart from this guy. Now he had an attack from a white fly and apparently white flies deposit larvae inside the buds. So some of the buds dropped and until I noticed it, um, it kind of affected the new growth some new buds as you can see right here however i've been uh, spraying it with sb plant invigorator i have it here yeah this thing and it seems to do the job it's an organic type of insecticide or insecticidal soap um hmm, not sure exactly but many of the blooms or actually the buds have opened so he's doing okay and in the back there we have a hibiscus that i purchased without being in bloom i presumed it's different from the ones that i have because i i saw a spent flower and in the meantime it did bloom i'm gonna show you some photos and it really is different from all the others it's really really pretty and i'm in love with hibiscus you guys and i cannot wait for these guys to be a little bit bushy after i trim them so yeah in my mind it should look really really pretty so this is the first container and this is the second container and we have one in bloom and hopefully you can see the size of this bloom it's pretty humongous and i absolutely love the color this is my favorite actually so this pot is doing very well indeed this one again i purchased without seeing it i knew it would be a sort of a reddish color i hoped it would be the pinky red it's not but it's different from the other red one that i have and i did make some pictures when it was in bloom it's a gorgeous red actually the flower is not as big as the other one but the red is a sort of a orangish red that simply cannot be captured on camera it's just so saturated and pigmented that i simply cannot 
get the color on camera. However, it is lovely. So this one got some white flies as well and it lost some buds. But again, I'm spraying every morning the buds and the tips that are growing with that SB Plant Invigorator. And it kind of seems to work. I'm not sure exactly if it's the liquid that they don't like or the actual substance inside. It's supposed to be good against white fly. However, it is working, so I'm happy with it. And the fact that it's not toxic means that I can use it every morning without fearing and all of that. I'm good with it. It's not gonna affect other insects either. So overall, my hibiscus, hibiscus, I don't know what's the plural. Anyway, my hibiscus plants are doing quite, quite nice. Again, they're receiving um, dappled light, however, a bit more than the adenium because they're taller and my fence is not super tall. So they get a little bit of sun from above. They tolerate sunlight very, very well. I have no complaints. So far, so good. The next step is to prune them, but I think I'm gonna wait until springtime, but I'm not sure. They're full of branches and full of buds. So I don't necessarily want to cut them just yet. I might, I don't know, but winter is coming, so we shall see. I'm gonna take you along for uh, the pruning as well. If you're interested in it, let me know in the comments below. So this has been the update. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description for links on the adenium and also links on the hibiscus where we potted them as well. So if you'd like to see that video and how I went about it, you can check the description below. So alrighty guys, thank you for watching. If you'd like to watch more plants and orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a regular basis. Feel free to leave me comments down below if you have questions or suggestions for videos. And if you ever want to send me a letter, do so at the address you see right here or in the description below. Choose an option on the screen if you like to be directed to orchidnature.com or watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you all next time. Bye!